Hi everybody, welcome to Golden Era Geek Out, a new section that will look at uh, scientific, uh, scientific facts on questions that have been raised. In this case, we are looking at a very particular question that I've been asked several times. Can the rib cage be expanded? And the short answer is yes, absolutely. Today we will look at the medical community's opinion of which I am part of. And you will understand finally how and why the rib cage can be expanded. Here is a great photo of Ellington Darden, a golden era legend, showing phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal rib cage expansion. But it, this may actually look like a deformity, but it is not. He's actually doing three different things, which uh, allows him to present and demonstrate his incredible rib cage expansion ability. He is thrusting his rib cage forward. He has phenomenal. Um, f uh, spinal flexibility plus he has a vacuum a very incredible vacuum uh, being held there together these three uh, abilities give him this phenomenal demonstration of ribcage expansion let's have a look now at the medical facts behind why ribcage expansion is possible now firstly before I go into the anatomy of different types of cartilage I want you to understand that I have a PhD in biomedical science, so I know what I'm talking about. But I won't go into great detail. Uh, I can tell you that I've, I've lectured the anatomy and physiology of the human body for more than 10 years at several universities. So believe me when I tell you this, this is true. There are firstly three types of cartilage. Hyaline. Hyaline is found most commonly in the ribs, as shown in this diagram. It's also found on your nose, larynx, and trachea. And it is a precursor to bone. That means that it can ossify. Ossification or calcification of hyaline cartilage occurs, especially in the ribs. We will talk about this in a minute. Ossification uh, literally means, or calcification literally means, that in this case, the cartilage becomes more like bone it mineralizes but let's get uh, uh, let's go through the others elastic cartilage is found on the ear epiglottis and the larynx as well and finally you also have fibrocartilage that is found in the intervertebral discs joint capsules and ligaments of all of these cartilages the one we are mostly concerned with is hyaline cartilage because we are talking about the ribs today. So in this case, this is called costal cartilage. Now costal cartilage being hyaline, it is not as flexible as your nose cartilage. Or I want you to feel your nose, right? Not the uh, bit where your nostrils are, but the bit ab above it is actually um, cartilage, right? Um, and it, it, it may not be as flexible as that, but it gives you an idea of how flexible it really is. The younger you are, the more flexible hyaline cartilage is in your costal region. Let's look more into the costal cartilage now. The costal cartilage is found here in this uh, anatomical figure of this human being, and it is found here in red. It is highlighted in red. The costal cartilage being flexible <coughs> allows you to breathe. So when you breathe, your rib cage expands because your lungs take in air. Therefore, in order for the lungs not to hit the ribs as they expand, there needs to be something there that allows for this expansion. And that is what the costal cartilage allows. It is stretchy, it is flexible. And so it, it opens up as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, it closes. Now I'm pretty sure that most of you are aware that your rib cage expands when you breathe. This is because you have costal cartilage. I'm sure that you can see a child who's uh, mostly cartilage actually, as they grow, this cartilage becomes bone, it ossifies, and so as they grow, the bones set. Costal cartilage therefore allows growth in the rib cage, and it allows expansion during breathing. Understand these two very important points, but the very important point is, is that it allows you to grow. It, it actually allows, it, it gives flexibility in the rib cage, allowing growth to occur more than normal. Understand this. 
So let's look at this particular research, medical research article, Premature Calcifications of Costal Cartilages, a new perspective written by Walter Romberg and Antonia Schuster uh, from Austria, actually. Uh, notice that it is from the, the year 2014. So not too long ago was this uh, article published. More importantly, let's have a read of the first paragraph, the introduction. The calcification of costal cartilage follows gender-related patterns and is generally not evident radiographically, that means not evident via x-ray, until after the age of 30 years. What does this mean? Calcification of the costal cartilage is not evident until after the age of 30 years. I tell you what this means, I will tell you. It means that the costal cartilage remains cartilage until you are an adult of 30 years old. After this, your costal cartilage begins to lose flexibility because it calcifies. And as it calcifies, it becomes more like bone. Bone is still flexible, but it can't stretch. Cartilage can stretch. So what this means is that your cartilage can stretch until the age of 30 years. It can grow. It can lengthen understand this if you are in your teens or 20s you can lengthen your cartilage this is a medical fact what does this mean golden era bookworm is probably what a lot of people would be asking well it means that between your ages your teenage years you know 15 years where you start probably hitting puberty until the age of 30 you can increase the volume of your rib cage why because your costal cartilage hasn't solidified into bone yet it is still cartilage it can lengthen therefore you can expand the volume of your rib cage this is a great photo of mel williamson balancing a glass uh, <laughs> a glass um, vessel on his rib cage for god's sake again he's showing wonderful rib uh, rib cage thrust a vacuum and very good spinal flexibility giving him that this fantastic side chest pose but what about if i am over 30 years of age golden or area golden era big uh, golden era bookworm um, well no problem no problem why well yes your rib cage is ossified and it is calcified it is now becoming more like bone but you can still actually thicken your rib cage and i and i'll explain how. Uh, it is well known amongst the medical community that bone itself can be thickened through uh, resistance training. When you guys are doing your squats, your bench press, your deadlifts, whatever you're doing, I don't know whether you're aware of this, but not only uh, is your muscle uh, growing, but your joints are getting stronger. Your joints are not just getting stronger but your bone actually the density of your bone is actually getting thicker and thicker and thicker the more resistance training you do the more load you put on your bones and your bones become stronger they become thicker and so although the flexibility of your rib cage after the age of 30 is now restricted because of age because it has now calcified you can still thicken the rib cage further to give you the appearance of an even larger rib cage so for those that are over 30 keep doing your breathing squats keep doing your your pullovers because you will only thicken the bone there give yourself greater protection of your visceral organs your heart your lungs etc these are your vital visceral, visceral organs and uh, you're only going to do yourself some good so everybody, I will leave now this video with this phenomenal photo of John Farbotnik. I love this photo and I'll show it again and again. Look at the ability of that vacuum. Look at the ability of that ribcage expansion. And look at those muscles that sit on top of that ribcage. This is why it was so important for golden era bodybuilders for the, and, for, and for bodybuilders from the silver era to work on their ribcage ability, on, on their volume of the ribcage. Because when you put slabs of muscle as big as John's on top of that, those pecs, those delts, that phenomenal soft ball sized bicep, and you, you can look away. Why? Because everybody else is staring, for God's sake. Look at that. That is incredible. That is phenomenal. 
This is why people back then, these bodybuilders, these athletes, would work on their ribcage. I hope you understand this. I hope this is evident in this phenomenal photo. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and leave me your comments. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.